but it is incredible to be able to see what they're seeing. Oh, and that view on the left-hand side there, we can actually see those thrusters, as I mentioned. It almost looks as if Dragon is like spitting out a little bit, and uh, it's just really cool to be able to see uh, that propulsion system in action as Dragon is flying itself to that Zenith port. And I love it with those two views that we just had <laughs> because it's Dragon looking at Station as well as Station looking at Dragon, which always <laughs> kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Spider-Man meme oh, of yeah. them pointing at each other. <laughs> it's a very meta moment. Mm -hmm. And that image on the right, you see our Commander Peggy Whitson on the left, Pilot John Schaffner on the right, and out of frame, our mission specialists, Rihanna Barnawi and Ali Alkarni. Likely also monitoring all these events. Everyone is, everyone on board this Dragon is probably very, very anxiously awaiting this moment of docking. Ending nearly a 16 hour transit to get to the ISS after launching. Now we are roughly 20 minutes away from hitting that approach one, uh, or excuse me, that, that waypoint one, uh, which like I mentioned before is 220 meters away from the International Space Station. And we can see that the crew has their visors up. Uh, we don't require them to put their visors down until um, they're closer to the space station uh, for that docking procedure. So they're still hanging out, uh, continuing to monitor Dragon's progress. As we said before, once the four Axiom 2 crew members get on station, um, they're going to be there for eight days uh, and they're going to be very busy. <laughs> when you're on station, your schedule is packed with science and research, sleeping, your, your sleep periods are, are scheduled to ensure that everybody's getting appropriate rest, um, your meal times, and then of course you have to build in some exercise time as well. But yeah, the crew will be uh, very busy once they get on station. So these final moments before they actually arrive um, might actually be <laughs> very calm and restful because, the, like we said before, the, the crew right now, they are monitoring, they are keeping an eye on Dragon systems, uh, and of course, keeping in contact with the integrated operations teams from uh, all three mission control centers that we mentioned before. Once again, this is a live view of the International Space Station from Dragon. It almost looks fake. <laughs> it's so uh, clear and beautiful. As we get closer, you should be able to uh, make out more clearly the various vehicles that are uh, docked with the International Space Station. Once we get closer, I uh, definitely want to keep an eye on to, to those various ports. As we mentioned, we did a port relocation maneuver for the Crew-6 capsule. Um, Dragon Station on the Big Loop, C2V2 link reconfiguration complete. Dragon copy, C2V2 config complete. As I mentioned, we did a port relocation maneuver for the uh, Crew-6 capsule, which is Dragon in Denver. It was relocated to the Node-2 forward port, uh, and we should be able to see that as we get closer. And I just love it when there is a Dragon capsule getting a view of another Dragon capsule <laughs> <laughs> that is on station. We had that view um, during the Crew-6 docking, if I remember correctly. So this is a live view coming to us from the International Space Station to, or, or of Dragon uh, Freedom as it approaches.
All right. So as we are continuing to get uh, uh, get closer to the International Space Station, we are heading towards that waypoint one. Let's check back in with Leah over at Johnson Space Center to hear how things are continuing to progress with the International Space Station's preparation for Dragon Freedom. Hi, Kate. Hi, Duke. Thanks for carrying us through a little bit of that. And uh, yes, that's no moon. That is Dragon approaching the International Space Station. As you heard, uh, we've reached waypoint zero, that 400 meters away from the space station. We're just a little bit below that now. Um, but as you can see, we've made quite a bit of movement. Um, our recent, our previous view of Dragon had the Earth in the background. Now we have space in the background. The spacecraft has moved out in front of the International Space Station, still uh, less than 400 meters away, about 380 meters right now, but we're moving up to waypoint one. And again, waypoint one is about 220 meters away from the space station. It'll be directly above that node two zenith or space facing port. Uh, we will, we have the opportunity to pause here, uh, check out any systems if needed, and we expect arrival at waypoint one in about 10 minutes. Once Dragon reaches waypoint one, the next stop is waypoint two. That is only 20 meters away from the International Space Station. So that's when we hope to get that crystal clear view of Dragon Freedom and its four crew members inside. We do conduct a hold at waypoint two. This is to make sure that we are properly aligned with the docking target on node two, also known as Harmony. After reaching waypoint two, Dragon will slowly but surely move in and dock with that port, uh, conducting a soft capture first before the hooks begin to drive and complete a hard capture. Then it takes about two hours until Dragon hatches are ready to be opened and the four new crew members make their way aboard the space station. now 350 meters away from the station. Again, this is Dragon Freedom. It was named that by the Crew 4 crew that visited the International Space Station. Spacecraft keep their names uh, after being named by the crew, so this one uh, will always carry the name Freedom regardless of who's flying on board. On the International Space Station side, things continue to move smoothly. Again, we have NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg in the cupola along with UAE astronaut Sultan on the Yachty. They're monitoring Dragon's approach. It is a fully autonomous flight for the visiting spacecraft, meaning uh, there is no action required on part of the crew. However, they do have the ability to take control if needed, um, as well as the crew aboard the space station can send commands to Dragon to retreat if necessary. But we're not expecting any of that this morning as things continue to move smoothly now 330 meters away from the orbiting laboratory.